Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Unprepared here, and welcome to the RPG Maker XP tutorials. This is a brand new series I'm doing on RPG Maker XP now instead of VX Ace. Um, something fresh and new for you guys. XP does work quite a bit differently, so it should be interesting and new for everyone. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, when you uh, when you first your first time opening the program, you'll see this screen right here. Uh, to create a new game, just click the little paper icon over here, or just click File and select New, or press con hold down Control and press N. Here's your name your project. We're gonna name it. Waffle, and you just click OK, and you can. Uh, yeah. Now, one of the most, uh, one of the key different things that I want to point out is you have the different layers. You have one, you have the layer one, layer two, and layer three. Each of those layers have the exact same tiles. So, um, we're gonna start with the default tile set here, and I'm gonna show you how to work the uh, the tile editor a little bit, and I'll show you uh, the database and all that. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and work with the tile uh, tile set here. Up here, you have the pen tool, which allows you to draw. Using like a well pen sort of you get to you draw wherever you want to draw. Uh, next you have by the way I hold control and press C to undo. Uh, next we have the rectangle. The rectangle will draw a square. Uh, next we have the ellipse tool, uh, the little circle tool it allows you to draw a circle. And then you have the paint bucket tool, which will fill in all the tiles linked to its own uh, type. Now then, uh, you notice that if you if you do the, uh, if you try to put something here, you'll have like this little white square here. Just simply go up another layer. So let's go on layer two. You can add like little hill things if you wanted to with the default uh, tile set here. And uh, if you want to see how it looks, just click on the event layer. There you go. Um, you'll notice that layers, when you're on the first layer, whatever you place on the second layer, what are, well, when you're underneath one of the layers, the, the item that you place above it will become transparent. See, right now, both the tree and the uh, the chunk of land are transparent, and that 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 helps you uh, kind of know which layer you're on. To select a tile, um, you can right click over here uh, in your map editor. You can copy one of the tiles over here. But to select a tile, you simply click over here or right click. It's up to you. Um, either left click or right click. And to select multiples, just hold the mouse button down and drag up. Right now, I selected the whole tree, and. Uh, the best part about all this is you can do you can place like things behind other things like like so uh RPG Maker XP is definitely one of my favorites for map editing I think because it, it definitely has like the most beautiful maps uh, if you want to change your tile set just right click uh, your map and then go to map properties you can change from all the different tile sets that it has by default here uh, the encounters and all this stuff I'll go over in other episodes the map name is right here now when you make a new map uh, you just want to click the name of your project and click on new map. Uh, we're gonna name this hmm, home. Let's name it home. Let's uh, you can change the tile set again. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now. But you can play around with those and see the different tiles. This is the map width. By default, the the minimum uh, is 20 by 15. That's because the tiles are 32 by 32 and the graphics resolution is 640 by 480, and it, they kind of divide into each other like that. So then, that being said, we uh, you can change the music right here. The music in this, by the way, is amazing. I love the music in this one. This is one of my favorite themes right here. It's not me. Seriously, that is awesome. Alright, anyway, you can change the music there. You can change the background sounds here, which is like rain. Wind, a river, fire, like if you had a campfire, earthquake, drips if you're in a cave. Alrighty, you can do all kinds of cool stuff here. So once you're done, click OK, and you will see that you have you now have your map. By default, this tile right here is selected, so it's empty. You can uh, use a paint bucket, fill in some stuff, and have some fun with it. That being said. That's going to cover it for this one episode. I know this one was short, but again, I'm going to be covering uh, everything about the software. So yeah, well, everything I can. The scripting is a little bit different, too. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.